All right, this will be her very first session in Leavitt's. Uh, we, this is an uh, introduction to a brand, brand new behavior. Under the loose leash is not necessarily brand new. She already has a history of, in essence, getting it wrong, but uh, in pulling and stuff like that. But this is a brand new behavior. She's never been exposed to this before. It's called the leave it cue. Uh, the leave it behavior and um, in essence what it is, it's, uh, it will become a cue that we can rely on when she's kind of getting into trouble and she's getting into things that she's not necessarily supposed to be in. And then we can just say with a firm tone, not necessarily firm, excuse me, in an even tone, leave it. So it starts right here and practice this exact same thing that I'm doing at the house. Um, do it about two minutes. And what I've seen in videos past, I have actually been doing too much for too long. Uh, so I'm going to cut these sessions in half and just keep going with more. I do more sessions, just cut them in half as opposed to doing less sessions and keeping them long. Uh, she seems to be giving me just enough response in shorter spans and that's all I want. I want her to get it right at least this much. And what happens is if I keep going longer and longer, she's going to get it wrong and she's going to get it wrong and then I'm kind of pushing her through it. She's not really into it. So I want to keep her into the game anyway. So leave it right here. So once we practice this at the house once or twice, do not think that she's going to leave uh, something very high, distracting like a, a bird or a squirrel. You know, don't think that yet. Give it time. Keep practicing this cue. I'm going to show you how to keep up in the criteria. But don't think she don't know it because she's not leaving that bird alone or that ball or whatever. It's, uh, when you don't, I wouldn't even suggest you using the cue yet until I, until I give you the green light to go ahead and start using it. Um, but also keep in mind that the dog is, uh, it, it has to be some kind of payoff in there. Uh, com continue the communication with a, a good girl, you know, or good job, you know, something like that to let her know she did exactly what you wanted her to do. So the very beginning of the leave it cue right here uh, what I'm gonna do is she's kind of laying on the floor right here she's been kind of playing a little bit and training so her her mind and body are <laughs> are wild so here's a treat this is how big it is right here I'm gonna keep it in my cuffed hand right here I'm gonna say leave it and what do you and then when I do it I'm gonna present it up to her nose and I'm going to say leave it and what do you think she's going to do of course she's going to go for it but when she does go for it we close our hand we don't have to say no or uh -uh or anything like that just close our hand so leave it leave it leave it and you'll see it may take 10 times but you'll see that she'll give you that half a second of restraint and that's when you say take it so the restraint is what you're looking for here. She's gonna go for it because she doesn't know to leave it yet. We're teaching her to leave it, therefore eventually she can have it for leaving it. Let's practice. Okay, girl, come on. Good girl. Leave it. 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 Good, take it. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Take it. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Take it. She's giving me a little bit of restraint and that's exactly what I want I want her to do. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Take it. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Take it. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Take it. Good job. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Take it. Remember, leave it. Take it, right? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. 
Leave it. Good girl. Take it. Leave it. Good girl. Take it. Good job. Last one. Leave it. Good girl. Take it. All right. So, even though she's laying down, and if you see she's trying to paw me, all these are like, well, I don't know what to do. Uh, is it this? Is it sitting? Is it down? I'm not quite sure what to do. Uh, be mindful of those particular behaviors. Uh, she's trying to figure out what do you want the most, which is perfectly fine. She's kind of in the game trying to train us a little bit. Um, be mindful of those behaviors. Ignore those behaviors. Um, sometimes, and this is just the first session, sometimes I get her up a little bit out of that stuff. Uh, if she's laying down, I kind of just get her up a little bit. But don't forget to use the cue. Leave it and then take it, okay? It's very important as it goes on, as it goes on and builds strength, it's important that she knows the difference of the two. And uh, practice these things at the house.